it's a beautiful to stage in second and it's wonderful to be here again with you yes it's always us and um, i'm certain it's going to be a wonderful review mm. um father we say thank you for today we appreciate you for another opportunity to do this we ask lord that you teach us yourself in jesus name open our hearts to understand yeah. deeply and help us to work on it become it practice it let it be our lifestyle for in jesus name we have prayed yeah. amen so yeah. today the, the topic for today is love protects mm. and um, our bible reading is drawn from the book of john the 10th chapter from the 11 to the 15th verse mm. so i'll quickly read it says i'm the good shepherd the good shepherd giveth his life for his sheep but he that is an hurling and not the shepherd whose horn the sheep are not see the wolf coming and leave it the sheep and flee it and the wolf catcheth them and scattereth the sheep the hireling fled because he is an hireling and carried not for the sheep i am the good shepherd and know my sheep and am known of mine as the father knoweth me even so i know the father and i lay down my life for the sheep mm. it's that simple love mm. the Okay, so this flows from what we had studied the day earlier, love gives. So we are studying what love does and today we are looking at the protection that comes from one that loves one. Now isn't it a beautiful thing that God who is love himself, mm -hmm. right, is the one who has promised to protect us. He is the one who has promised that he will give everything, he will give everything for our sake. It's so comforting. You know, and I, I just draw this straight into a story that our Father and the Lord shared in the devotional today. You know, saying if anyone could testify of the protection of God, he, he would be one of those people. And quite an interesting story where he was at a service, he was about to start preaching, right, ministering, and he, the Lord helped him hear a conversation that was going between two witches, believe it or not, you know, and he, he had to announce and said, um, and those witches were actually planning on how to how to kill him, right? And he said, yeah, and, he, and they were in the service. And then he announced and said, so my father just helped me hear what you guys are planning. And um, mm -hmm. if, you're, if you don't want to die in another seven days, I'd better just come out. And interestingly, they did come out and, and, and <laughs> confessed to doing that. Now, what that's, that's a great example of how God protects, protects. How, how God who is love protects those that are his. Yes, and like the Bible reading that we, we went through as well, the the good shepherd would lay his life for, for his the own. sheep. Right? Just as even Christ has actually laid his life for our sake that we may be saved. And Jesus when he was living he assured us, when he was living he assured his disciples which we are right that he was going to leave his peace with us, peace that passes all sorts of understanding, mm -hmm. and that's comforting. Okay. So love protects, love protects. However, it protects those that are in that in love with Him. God is love, mm -hmm. and it will protect those that are in love yeah. with Him, that are that's in true. that relationship. And then you see our prayer point here says, Heavenly Father. Help me to continually dwell in your secret place so that I may constantly abide under the shadow of your protection in Jesus' name. So it is those who can who dwell under his shadow. And to dwell under someone's shadow, that means you're close to the person, right? Yes, that's so it's true. those that are close to him that can enjoy the protection that comes from, from love. That's true. That's mm. that, that's very really true. Yeah. We also talked about Elisha, how that... Um, the yeah, servant was agitated yeah, I mean, and they said it's yeah it's if the lord opens our eyes to see mm. the quantum of support the quantum of protection he has around us that are his children just as he did in this story you had mentioned mm. we would even be more confident that's of how, how he really has our back that's true yeah so and that's so. to wrap up this i'd like to encourage everyone really if um you're not giving your life to Christ yet, and you, you are yet to say, Lord Jesus, um, be my God, be my Lord. I think this is the opportunity for you to do it so you could enjoy the protection 
that comes from the Lord. And all you have to say is confess your sins yes. and say, Lord Jesus, forgive me all my trespasses. Cleanse me with your blood and help me, O oh Lord, that I will become a member of your family. That I may enjoy your protection indeed in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 If anyone who has shared that prayer with us has already been saved. Exactly. And I say congratulations to you. Congratulations and that'll be it. Yes. That'll be it. That'll be it. That'll be it. But then our memory verse Romans yes. chapter 8, verse 31. Yes. And what shall we then yes. say to yes. these things? If God be for us, who can be against us? Nobody. Nobody. So thank you very much. Thank you too. God bless you. God bless you.